Welcome to this instructional video. We're going to demonstrate how to incorporate Curran produced by Cellucomp into a basic matte wall paint. First, prepare your premix. Be aware that Curran requires shear to disperse. For this reason, you should retain some water from the premix to optimize the viscosity at the grind phase. For every one gram of active Curran, 60 grams of free water is required to ensure full dispersion and hydration. Combine your premix material as you normally would. Mix as usual. Curran is supplied in a granular form with approximately 20% active content. While stirring, add Curran along with your existing cellulose thickeners, pigments and fillers. At this stage, you want to optimise viscosity using some of the retained water to ensure adequate shear for the dispersion of curran and pigments. In this example, we are using a 10cm diameter pot, a 5.5cm diameter blade, mixing at 1500 rpm. If the viscosity is too low, it will prevent the dispersion of curran. Likewise, too high a viscosity will prevent the dispersion of current. In this example, we have checked dispersion quality with a grind block. When hydrated, current forms platelets, which will orientate in the final film. Scratching may be observed due to the size and shape of the current particle. It is normal to see subtle orange peeling. This is caused by the structuring effects caused by Curran with the pigments. This shows Curran is working. As an example, here is a grind block with the sample with Curran. Once fully dispersed, the letdown can commence as normal. Let's look at a drawdown of the final paint. You may see subtle texturing in wet film application, but once dried, there will be no difference to the dry film. Here, we have a sample with current on the left and a control sample without current on the right. Depending on the formulation, you may see subtle texturing with current. When applied with brush or roller, any subtle texturing is lost. Thank you for your time.